to Alive. This is Father Jonathan Meyer. And here at Alive, we spend time reflecting upon the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading. Our Gospel passage on the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. You're going to notice this Sunday, of course, that the priests, the deacons, are wearing green again. It is Ordinary Time. It's the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our Gospel passage is John chapter 1, 29 through 34. It's the story of Jesus' baptism. And I think it's important for us to reflect upon as we leave the Christmas season, enter into ordinary time. When we talk about the epiphany, which we normally think of as the three magi coming from the East giving gifts of gold, frankincense, and summer, for us liturgically as Catholics, we also look at the epiphany as also being the baptism of, of Jesus in the River Jordan and the wedding feast at Cana. In the bigger word, the the word epiphany, manifestation, being made known. So when we look at this, why, why would we see the baptism of Jesus as somehow being associated with Jesus' being visited by the, the Magi and the wedding feast of Cana? They all have to do with the fact of Jesus being made known. That what was in darkness is now being brought to the light. So with the Magi, it's the fact that Jesus is being known, being made known to the whole world. So these scientists, these foreigners, these non-Jewish people are coming to worship the Messiah. At the baptism, Jesus is being proclaimed to be the Son of God by the heavens being parted, the dove coming down. So he's being made known. At the wedding feast of Cana, Jesus is being made known First, for, he's working his first miracle. It's his first public miracle. So he's being made known to his people. So in all three of these, the coming of the Magi, the baptism in the River Jordan, and in the wedding feast of Cana, you have this beauty of Jesus being made known. Which then had me think. And I'm going to go back here to the book of Genesis. In the beginning... Man and, women, man and woman were created naked and without shame. And they walked freely with God. Which means, like if we understand this deeply, they were known by God, by each other, and by themselves. Think about how much of our life is about us Hiding from ourselves, hiding from others, and hiding from God. Let's break that down just a little bit. When we talk about sin and addiction, what is the first thing that people deal with? Denial. We ourselves hide from ourselves. We don't admit our own brokenness. We don't admit our own sins. We, 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 we remain blinded. We deny the reality of our lives. We hide then also from others, right? So when we have a sin or a struggle or a difficulty, we don't want anybody else to know about it. So we hide it from others. This is like you know, little kids who are sneaking candy or sneaking cookies Eventually, this is people who hide their alcoholism, you know, in, in big degrees. But then we also, then we hide from God. We run from God. And this is exactly what happened in the beginning. When Adam and Eve sinned, they hid from each other. They hid from God. Sin wants us to close in. Sin wants us to enter into darkness. Sin has this ability to close us in and wrap us in ourselves and hide. And the manifestation of Christ, the epiphany of Christ, is this continual opening and reawakening that God wants to see us as we are. And that we need to see ourselves for who we are. But the reality is that we're not our sin. We're not our addiction. We're not our brokenness. Who are we? We're children of God. We're baptized believers. We're sons and daughters of a king. We're good. 
And because of that, we're then called to see our brothers and sisters as good. We're called to see our friends as good. We're called to see our spouse as good. It's all, I think there's so much wrapped up in people living in the darkness and in the sin and the brokenness of their own lives instead of in the freedom and the revelation of who we are as sons and daughters. So my brothers and sisters, I just want to invite us as we close the Christmas season, as we enter to ordinary time, what are you hiding in your life? Are you hiding from yourself? Are you hiding from others? Are you hiding from God? What are you hiding and why are you hiding it? And I will tell you that there is freedom when we allow ourselves to be found. There is freedom when we allow ourselves to be found. So Christ was found today in the River Jordan. His Father proclaimed him. The, the Spirit descended upon him. In God, there are no secrets. In God, there is no denial. In God, there is no shame. And so let's enter into that uh, as we enter into ordinary time and to live in the freedom of the daughters and sons of God. I want to thank again the many of you who joined us for Peace on Earth. Uh, we are so thankful for all of you uh, being with us. And of course, these are our weekly reflections. There's also discussion questions that you can find um, on our parish website, allsaintscatholic.net, if you'd like to form a small group. And then also just to know that we'll begin our daily reflections for Lent, beginning on Ash Wednesday, which this year is February the 22nd. I want to encourage you just to, right now, just be thinking, like, who can I be inviting into that? Who do I know that needs peace, that needs joy, that needs purpose? Because we are not called to live this alone. We're called to live this as brothers and sisters. So blessings to you. Thank you for joining us for Alive, and have a blessed week.